our mantra, I guess, has always been, if, if not us, then who? UMBC President Freeman Hrabowski and his wife Jacqueline are excited to be part of the National Institute of Health's coronavirus vaccine trial. They've already received a shot. Some tenderness around my arm, um, uh, but nothing that was... Um, Insurmountable. But when talking health care in the black community, it's no secret the conversation comes with mistrust. The Tuskegee syphilis experiments and the legacy of Henrietta Lacks are two of the more notorious reasons why. But this family hopes communities of color don't miss out. This is the best option we have because it's not just for you is what I tell people. This is for your children and for your parents and your older relatives because they are even more likely to die. A recent survey by Langer Research Associates, Unidos U.S. and the NAACP, finds two out of three African Americans believe the government can rarely or never be trusted to look after their interests. And of those people, four in ten would get a COVID-19 vaccine. The Hrabowskis hope education and those with influence will help encourage minorities to get the vaccine and sign up for trials, though they do admit knowing the lead researcher on the project, an African-American woman, Dr. Kismikia Corbett, made it feel right. The point of a vaccine is to do better than natural infection. The point of a vaccine is to um, essentially create an immune response that is very potent, so high-level immunity, for an extended period of time. If all goes well, NIH will have its vaccine widely distributed by next spring. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.